Good morning. Today is March the 9th, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today we're going to look at a term in crazy talk. Today we're going to look at the term mercy. One definition would be a quality that we think of as indicating weakness in human beings, but that in fact shows strength in and from God. One of our favorite times of the one of our favorite times of the year is the state fair. For some people, that time of the year when kids are almost back in school, when roller coaster and human uh, sling shooting rides come to town, and when we eat three meals within the space of three hours, and most of it's fried. But the best thing about the fair is the judging. Horses, cows, quilts, pies, wood carvings, you name it, it gets judged at the fair. Even people get judged. There's usually a queen of the fair. And of course there are, well, all kinds of people quietly sizing up each other. And then there is God, who is not fair. And that, my friend, is good news. Instead, God is merciful. God's mercy is about all about unfairness. If God treated us as fairness demanded, we would be in some serious trouble. If God collected from us every time we fell behind on our accounts, we would be permanently bankrupt. And we'd be permanently spiritually bankrupt. If God remembered it every time, uh, God remembered it against us every time we worshipped our idols of money, career, family, war, or sex, we'd be forgotten forever. If God brought charges against us each time we ignored the widow or orphan, we'd be serving multiple eternal life sentences. But God isn't fair. God is merciful. Mercy is who God is. Because of God's mercy, we can run to our Creator, not hide, no matter what we have done or haven't done. We can return to the Lord our God, for God is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and relents from punishing. So does that mean that God is some big wimp? When human beings show mercy, we tend to think of it as a sign of weakness. If a banker forgives loans every time she feels sorry for a customer who is behind on a payment, well, the bank would wind up closing. If a teacher forgives an assignment every time he feels bad for the kid whose dog ate the homework, that poor child would never learn. So we think mercy is a sign of weakness sometimes. But in God, mercy actually shows God's strength. Think of it this way. When a husband and wife argue, the one who forgives the other is usually the one with the stronger character. When two friends have a falling out, the one who calls to patch things up is the one with the inner strength. And that's who God is. We rebelled against God, crucified God's Son, and rejected God's teaching. And God said, I forgive. I raised Jesus up for you, and I won't abandon you, because I am merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you again for another day, uh, a day where we are loved and we are asked to love one another. We thank you that you are not fair, that you don't give us what you deserve, what we deserve, but you love and forgive and accept us in spite of the bad things we do or the good things we fail to do. Help us to show that same kind of forgiveness and mercy to everyone we meet. Continue to help us during this time of uh, pandemic. It's getting better, but we still need to watch out for one another. Help us to make wise decisions as we continue to open things up more and more and show us how we can be good neighbors to one another. Keep us always in your care and remind us of your love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.